let's take a look and see what family I have this week. I met Dave through a friend. I was set up with another guy and... Fortunately, the other guy got sick, so I saw an opportunity. We've been together for about 20 years. We were really late bloomers. We waited a long time before we had kids. And since we've had kids... Dramatic. Everything, everything has changed. <laughs> Home sweet home. We have three daughters, Andra, who's four and a half. See that much. And twins, Jesse and Leah, who just turned three. Andra tends to set the tone in our house quite a bit because she's so strong and she's so dominant. We're not having trouble with No, no, no. no it's my turn. Andra's very intense. She can be aggressive. Andy. She hits her sisters a lot. <laughs> That is scary. Now, that behavior from Andra has got to stop. Jessie is one of our twins. She's three. If Andy does something, then Jessie does the same thing. Jessie. Jessie. <laughs> Leah's three, our other twin. She definitely cries a lot. I'm going to need earplugs in this household. I have a full-time job. I usually have to travel at least once a month for at least four to five nights. Daddy, daddy. I am most often the one that is home by myself with the kids. It's a pretty long and very exhausting day. Whoa! It's hard to take them anywhere by myself in public. Andra? That is scary. Oh, Leah. I have spent so much time being stressed that I haven't really been able to enjoy my kids. You hurt her, me! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> what is the problem? What is going on? What? We're looking for a lot from Super Nanny because we need a lot. Barbara and David, I'm on my way. Barbara, Jean, oh, nice, to, nice Barbara. to meet you too. Super Nanny has a very good presence. Hey, David, nice to meet you. She said hello to the kids right away. Her tone was very good and upbeat, and so I was, I was pretty pleased. Oh, are you gonna give me a hug? <laughs> hello, sweetie. Both the twins gave her a big hug, so I always read the kids. If they like her, that's a good thing. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. You gonna shake my hand and say hello? Today, when I walked into the Jean family, I think there was a sigh of relief that I had arrived and um, was ready to take on all the issues. I'm here today okay. to observe and to watch how your family works. So just go about your day as normal. And um, I know we've got issues that we're gonna talk about and address and that I'm going to uh, help you resolve. Lovely. So I'm gonna step back and Watch you guys and I'll let you get on with it. Alrighty then. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're glad you're here. Come on, Andy Pandy. Andy, do you want jelly today? No. When I first walked into the house, the parents were doing breakfast. Uh, Honey, that is lots of them. Uh, What's the matter? I want more chips. Jessie this morning had chips for breakfast. Is that for your breakfast? Leah did not have anything for breakfast. What's up? Oh, there isn't a routine, there isn't a structure in the house in the mornings that the children apply by. Oh, you're going up, says I'll follow you up. We're getting the girls dressed. After breakfast, getting the girls dressed. That was another stressful event. How about this pink thing? Andy, want to wear this? <laughs> Yeah, you do. Just gonna put a shirt on, okay? Mom! All right, shoes. They seem to have walked away. The disappearing shoes. Is Andy normally cooperative? No. Come on. So whose trainers are these? Let's wear these. No socks for you. No. Shoes again. Just missing one now. <laughs> We're still looking for the red shoe. Andy's not being very cooperative with her father. We're looking for shoes again. We can't find the shoes. 
this house badly needs organisation. I have no idea where her boots are. I found out very quickly that the household didn't have much organisation at all and it was very chaotic. So, Barbara, you're off to the supermarket now? Yes, we're going to go to the supermarket. It's hard to take them to the store by myself because I can't control them. Where's Jessie? She's right here. Come on, let's get in the car. Come on, Leah, let's get in. Sit right here. Sit right here. She's sitting right there. Get in your huh. seat. No, huh. don't. Not my dad, I fuck. And that's how Andrew yes, replies back to you. Yeah. Right, OK. I'm getting the gist of this now. Yeah. What book? My care bear book. Your care bear book. book you hadn't seen for a month. You, I, I you want to carry here's you want to carry your care book? Mm -hmm. What was that? Yeah. Just kicked him. I think it's absolutely crazy. You don't get it. I want it. Well, you kick me, you don't get anything. I'd like to be the boss. And I don't feel like I am right now, or that I ever have been. If you don't kick me for a few days, maybe I'll give your care bear book back. Mom? <laughs> Tantrum at his best. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Come back, mommy. Mommy, come back. Andra, stop. Yeah. Just. Oh my God. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. I want you. I want you, mom. Hey, It was just ridiculous. This tantrum was going on forever. I don't know how Barbara drove that car with Andra screaming the way she was. When we arrived at the supermarket, all three girls were arguing who was going to sit in the cart, and it was real troublesome. We're going to see if all three of you will fit. Let's see if Leah can squeeze in next to you. This is every mother's nightmare. Children playing up in the supermarket where everyone else can watch you. Don't oh. Jesse. Mommy, we need new paintbrushes. Hey, Jesse, what are you doing, honey? Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> it was real troublesome for Barbara. And I'm mommy, mommy. And then Andrew was all over the place, running down all the aisles. Andra. Andra? 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 Where are you? It's a big chair. Andy? Oh dear. Barbara doesn't exercise her full control as a parent when Andrew is being very demanding. I think it's absolutely crazy that Barbara tolerates that kind of behaviour from Andrew. Donut! 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 You need to come with me. Yeah, right. I'll be extra good if you give me a donut. Manipulation at its best. The supermarket run was just ridiculous. Oh, yes. I feel that Barbara definitely needs to take control of that situation when she is shopping with all three girls. So, what happens now with the girls? That's what I'm hoping you'll help me with, because I don't really know. Nothing happens. I mean, I have nothing scheduled with them at all. There was no structure or routine to Barbara's day at all with the children. All right, you guys, she's got so many hours with the girls, and she doesn't know what to do with them. I'm not a dad. They get bored. They end up fighting with one another. <laughs> Andrew tends to dominate and lead the play. Andrew and Sharon at the moment, they don't mix. <laughs> She's also very aggressive. She hits her twin sisters. kind of behaviour is just not acceptable and it has to be addressed.
dinner time. It's ravioli. So do the children normally eat with their hands, even though they've got cutlery? Yes. I'll get your water, honey. No, Jesse. 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 Sit down. Sit down, honey. Meal times are just hellacious for me. If we could all sit down at a meal and stay seated for 10 minutes without outbursts, that would be a huge thing for me. Jesse, sit down. Andra, get out, out, out. Sit down, honey. sit down. Why well, want you to sit down? Mum and Dad were just trying to keep the children at the table, and if I was David and Barbara, I would have had indigestion. It was making me dizzy just to watch them. It was just feeding time at the zoo, I think you can say, to be honest. No, you don't get it. Hey. And I don't want that. Girl, it's not good. God almighty. It's not cool! Dinner time was ridiculous. Andra made a big fuss about not having the sippy cup that she wanted. What's They're wrong? Cold. Do you want it warm? Do you want this one warmed up? Warm. And I want that one. Oh. No, I, I want Andra was not letting up. That kind of behavior is a no-no in my book. <laughs> Andra, Andra, go mine. back and sit down. Go mine. back and sit down. It's mine. It's mine. You want this one? No. Andy, Andy. You want to go to your room? I want that cup. Come on, let's go to the room. I want that cup. Come on. And I don't want that This child has got too much leeway. She has tantrums that the parents tolerate. It's just disgusting. It needs to change. observing in the Jean household, I take mental notes of how the family dynamics work, and then later on in the evening, we sit down and discuss the issues that need to be addressed. OK, I've made some mental notes of your wonderful family, and I would love for us to sit down and have a talk about what I've seen today. OK. OK. Ready. Let's go and that then. OK. When Jo said that she was going to talk to us about what she had seen, I, my first thought was, uh-oh. You know, I was a little bit nervous. Let me begin by saying to the pair of you how proud you must be as parents to have three beautiful daughters. And so on that note, I'd like to talk about the pair of you raising your three girls and what I have seen. And the first thing that comes to mind when I walked into the house was organisation. Or lack thereof. Very much so. It's very chaotic. We don't know where anything is and it causes a lot of wasted time. Also, I'd like to talk about the routine that you have in this house. It's definitely unstructured. When there isn't a routine in a house, your children don't know what's happening or what's coming next. All three of them then get really bored. What it allows the children to do is misbehave for your attention. Andra behaves in a way that I find disrespectful. She shouts and she yells. Andra, in the back of the car, crying, it was absolutely mayhem. How do you focus and concentrate driving a car when you've got the kids screaming and having a tantrum in the back? But not once did I hear you turn around and say, stop that behaviour. Today I saw classic at dinner time, Andra wanting that zippy cup. And what happened was, she had a tantrum. And when she throws a bone, you guys go and fetch. Andra's behaviour with Jesse and Leah has got to stop. The snatching, the aggressiveness, that has to stop. And what's happening is, is Jessie's learning. Jessie is copying, and the pair of you are not enforcing any form of discipline. You know, you have to get a grip on that. Their behaviour is not acceptable. And the only two people that is putting up with that is the pair of you. You're tolerating it, you're putting up with it, and then you're wondering why your children are behaving the way they are. And as a result of all of this, I see a tired Barbara. I see a Barbara who's emotionally drained, that actually inside wants to be able to be Barbara and not Mum 
I'm pretty exhausted and spent. And for somebody to recognize that, uh, that was a little emotional for me. Barbara's been exhausted since the birth of the kids. She is exhausted. It's, it's a hard job. It was hard to hear that Andrew's behavior in particular is so over the top and completely unacceptable. I see the pair of you at a point where I feel is quite desperate. Tomorrow, we are going to change it for the better and we're going to have positive results all the way around so that your family is functioning a lot better. I wonder if Super Nanny can, can pull it off, really, because that has been my big question. My first fear is, well, maybe she'll give us these things and what if they don't work? Today, when I walked into the house, wanting change drastically, I put a routine on the wall. OK, this is a routine because your house needs organisation because we can't find anything anywhere and there's no structure to the day. I've broken the whole day down for Barbara so that she knows what she's going to do with her girls during the day. And at four to five, we're going to do an hour of constructive play with the girls so they have something to look forward to in the afternoon. The routine being structured with organised activities is really going to help the girls so that they're not bored, so that they don't play up and misbehave. If we even got some semblance of, of organisation, I think it would really help. I've been chronically disorganised my whole life, but I'm definitely confident about my ability to make that happen. So this is the routine, out with the old, in with the new, and let's get started. The behaviour that I want to eliminate in the house is the yelling, the shouting, the tantrums, the aggression, the kicking, the biting, and that's why the next thing that I introduced into the house was a discipline technique. I don't want you girls to shout at your mummy and daddy anymore, to be rude like this. I don't want to do it no more. Yes, Jessie. Yes. And if you don't listen, Mummy is going to put you on the naughty stool. <laughs> I'm going to explain to you now the discipline of the naughty stool, OK? Oh. I want you to come down, literally, to their level. Give them eye contact, and I want you to use a low tone voice, OK? you give your children a warning first to stop the behaviour. If they carry on, I want you then to walk them over and place them on their stool and say to them, you're going to stay there now until I come and get you, and you walk away. I'm not looking forward to experiencing some of the naughty stool episodes with Andra because she's a fighter. David spends a lot of time away on business, so that means that Barbara has to deal with all three girls, and the responsibility is solely on Barbara. It wasn't long before Andra started yelling and shouting at Mum. She really tests Barbara. No, you may not decide for them. Watch, excuse me. Yeah! Tell her to stop shouting at you. Every time you she may addresses not you, shout at me like that. That is not acceptable. You shout at me again, and you're going on the naughty stool. <laughs> All right, right, on, there you go. On, it's not a game. This is not a it's game. Not, on the naughty, not a game. on, on the naughty the stool. stool. You sit in the naughty stool until I tell you that it's okay to get up. Do you understand me? <laughs> tell her to look at you. Andra, Andra. Andy. Sit down. Firm voice, Barbara. Sit down, and you'll stay there because. You were being very rude to Mummy. Now, you stay here on the stool until Mummy comes and gets you, because that behaviour is not acceptable, and it's not a game. OK. Just ignore that. Sit down. <laughs> Don't lose hope with Andra. I know that she's testing you more than the younger girls have. It's all about repetition and following through and being consistent with discipline. After giving them their minutes, she's then to come back and to explain why they were put on the naughty stool 
and then to ask for an apology. You were sitting on this stool because you were shouting at mommy and you were very rude to mommy, and I am not going to tolerate that anymore. She tested mum on every level, and eventually Andrew got the message. <laughs> this is where you're going to be if you do that again. Do you understand? I won't. And I want an apology. <laughs> Sorry. What I wanted to do was decrease the amount of aggression in Andra. Andra needs to be taught that she has two other sisters in her family that she has to share with. So I brought in a shopping game for Mummy to play with all three girls. Andra, Leah, Jessie, we're going to play shops today. There were two shopping carts one cash register, and Mum had to decide who was playing what role. I think it would probably be a very good idea if Leah or Jessie was the cashier first. I encouraged Barbara to make sure that Andra wasn't the cashier that she wanted to be, because Andra always wants to get her own way, and it's important that Andra realises that she can't get her way all the time. OK, honey, we're all going to rotate. My money! OK. No! No, Andra, Sorry? first, Jesse's going to be the cashier. No, I don't want to. Well, Andra, we're all going to rotate. Hey, we're all gonna rotate. Hey, Jesse, you're the cashier, OK? So you can be just like the cashier at the, the store. No, I am it. Hey, 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 you don't shout at your sister. Hey, no, it's my turn. I want to be it. Address that manner, Barbara. That has got to stop. So what do I say? So call her over to you. Say to her, do not talk to me like that. Andra, you need to look at me. I don't want you to shout. Hey. Andra, <gasps> bring, bring her away from the toy. Come here, Andra. Look what Leah did. She took her down. Andra, stop right now. Mama is trying to talk to you. <laughs> Andra. All right, but keep calm, Barbara. Andra. You're in control. Let's keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> Bring her over to you. Andy, Mommy's trying to talk to you. When I'm trying to talk to you, I need you to listen to me. Barbara's really struggling. Andra was totally disrespectful towards Barbara. I had to address the situation myself. That behaviour is no good. And that behaviour will make you go and sit on that naughty stool. You've got to learn just to talk and ask Mummy. Do you understand me? Yes. Thank you very much. Now if you go and play. When Andrew was pulled aside and Joe was talking to her, it was very difficult. I've never really seen her face look like it looked. Andrew does need to have respect for her mother, and Barbara needs to make sure that Andrew knows exactly who's in charge. So we put the food back All right. onto the shelves as well, and then you designate who's going to have the carts again. Start again. So everybody's shopping. This is a supermarket. We've got Leah playing with the bags, Andrew organising stacks of food, and Jessie dealing with the money. Jessie, here's the money. Dad, hi, YouTube Day. Oh, look, there you go. Look, another one. Very well nice. Thank That's you. Marvelous. Very, very good. Bye. Bye. Thanks for shopping. Safe driving. Because shopping for Barbara is such a nightmare, I introduced to her today the involvement technique so that she could go shopping and get the girls involved so that they wouldn't start getting bored and misbehave. The first thing that I want you to do is write the girls out a shopping list and take a few things off of your list and put it on their list. And I want you to tell all three children what your expectations of them are. OK. Girls, we are going to go to the grocery store. We're going to the supermarket, and Mommy is going to need your help once we get to the supermarket. Can I have that list? OK. We are all strapped in. So the main objective here is to not keep your children in the supermarket any longer than necessary. What I was teaching Barbara 
is that she should be able to get the children to help her and to put food and veg into the shopping cart. Oh, good job. Box of strawberries, please. All right, Jesse can hold the cucumber. Can you get a little bit of broccoli, please? I'm really proud of Barbara, how she's managing all through the children. She's able to shop and get what's on her list. It's such a big improvement. Marvelous. Well, I want this one. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's a good-looking potato. Andrew's engaged in stimulating activities, so her focus is on that rather than on her mum's attention. You girls did so well at the grocery store today. I'm so very pleased with the way you helped Mommy. So now we get to ride the horsey. Yay! <laughs> For Mum, it was a really good, successful shopping trip. Definitely than what it had been before, because it'd been a nightmare. It has helped me gain some confidence in my ability to take them into a store. That was really great. It was awesome. I'm leaving the family for a few days. I've taught Barbara and David all the techniques that they need for their family. Thank you, hurry back. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a tough time ahead. My whole hesitation of it is, okay, can we keep it up? Listen guys, remember, stick to the routine so that you've got some structure in your day, all right? Okay. See you soon. Okay. You know, tomorrow I'll be waking up without Joe there for the first time. I'm definitely nervous about that. It's going to be challenging, but it's down to them to implement everything I have taught them. And whilst they're doing it, I'm going to be watching them. Andy, get in the car and sit down. Stop. Where's Andrew going? Andrew has a very dominant personality, and that's why I'm, I'm preparing myself for a fight. Andy, do not run away from me! I have no idea where that hairband is that you had yesterday. That was your responsibility, not mine. I, not go. the pink one! I don't the have... The new one! Stop talking to me. The that, new stop talking ones. to me that I way. I said the new one. She's stalling the situation, Barbara. Get Andra into the car. I don't want to undo that. Oh, my Don't word. Don't you dare. You do that, and you're going inside and sitting on the naughty stool. Andra's still carrying on with her attitude. I'm never going to play with you. Tell Andra to stop shouting. During the time that Joe has been gone, I have been having a hard time with the discipline with Andra, and it's been a challenge. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any other answers for, for what's going on. My main fear is just that I haven't been around working with it much, so I'm the weak link kind of thing. I'm gonna stack up my big Go away! Come on, you're getting to the naughty chair. No, I don't want to. David, what did I teach you? Warning first. <laughs> Sit there. Because you're kicking and fighting me, and you're not. Mommy. I was very uncomfortable tonight with, with putting Andy in the naughty stool because I wasn't sure if my voice was right. I did get down to, to eye level and what have you, but that was the first time I tried it. Stay there. Oh, here we go. What do we do about the yelling, Barry? All she has to do is just... <laughs> All she has to do is apologize, apologize. to me. Okay. It seems so simple. <laughs> okay, you stop crying. It's okay. Are you gonna apologize to me? Stop! Thank you. Dad, you need a better story than that. Nothing learnt there. Nothing. Dave is away right now, and that adds more pressure to me because not only am I trying to implement this new routine, but then I'm also just dealing with the stress of being alone with the three of them. Whoa, Jesse! What are you doing? It's not okay to keep hurting your sister. Those are definite low points for me when I can feel my tension feeling like, what am I gonna do if it's not working? And then it just goes downhill from there. You're going to start needing to cooperate. I don't need to. Oh, my word. I hate family breakfast. We are leaving. Yeah. Sit down at the table. Because it's cold. <laughs>
<laughs> Liam. Liam now is wanting to go on the naughty stool. <sighs> Wait, 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 girls, we need socks and shoes. The kids are running riot. <laughs> Great, now they're hitting you. I've got to get back. Hey, uh... After being away for a couple of days, I came back to the Jeans household to show Barbara and David some DVD footage of themselves since I'd been away. Well, I've got some footage here that I'd like all of us to sit down and watch. Okay, let's take a look. I know how to undo that. I know you do. Oh, I'm never gonna play with you. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> I understand your circumstances, you're running late, but don't give her that control. She's not doing as she's told and she's getting away with it. Okay. Will you, will you apologize to me? I want Bobby! Will you apologize to me? Yes, I'm asking permission from a four-year-old. <laughs> if you give your children the chance, they'll easily uh, manipulate the situation. And uh, Andrew's in control of that discipline at the moment. Are you going to apologize to me? Stop! Thank you. I couldn't wait to hear that. <laughs> she finally said she was sorry, and that's all I wanted to hear. Uh, people say to me, when's a sorry a genuine sorry? And I think a genuine sorry, it's not in the word, it's how it's delivered. So, um, you know, you could have turned around and, uh, and just said to her, please talk to me properly. What are you doing to your sister? Mama. Would you watch what you're doing, please? Your tone of voice, not good at all. Not good at all. Every time she's registering that she's getting away with it, and that's the message that goes across. No, you're absolutely right. It would have been... None of this would have happened. Right, OK. So what we're going to do today, guys, is tweak all the stuff that needs tweaking. All right? OK. Great. OK, let's go then. Give me your battery. <laughs> right, if you do okay. not listen to me, I am going to place you, you on the You don't listen to me. Stool. You're going on the naughty stool. David still needs to get the smaller details on the naughty stool technique. <laughs> Keep calm, David. Keep calm. Come on. Keep calm. Andra, stay here for four minutes and then apologize to me and you can leave. Sorry. Come on. Keep calm. Okay. Well, it's a little hard. I, I, I know, <laughs> I know, but what she can do, she can sense that. She will learn that when you follow through with this naughty stool technique, that it's you she must listen to. Mommy! Will you give an apology and you can get up off the chair? Sorry. That isn't a very serious sorry. Sorry. OK, David, this is where we're at now. We're at the last stage with the apology. Look at Daddy, stop whinging and sorry. say sorry. Sorry. Right, OK. There we go. You hear the difference oh, in the you. tone? Yeah. Thank you. And now, now only 15 more years of this and I might be in your level? You did good. You did good. You did good, though. Barbara's definitely struggling with disciplining. So I'm going to be teaching Barbara how to project and to maintain a low-toned voice. I'd like you literally to say, no, stop that. No, stop that. OK, that was good. That was good for a first time. So just bring the voice out with more clarity. No, stop that. OK, do a happy praise voice. So bring your voice up high. Andra, that is really fantastic. Andra, that is really fantastic. No, that's not acceptable. That is not acceptable. That is very good. That is very good. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. I don't want you to do that. Do not do that. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> that was brilliant. Using my voice and my tone and my expression as a way to manage my kids, I think that gives me a little bit more confidence and more hope. I need you to apologize to me. Sorry. Sorry. One complete circle around the umbrella! Yay! Pick up a ball! Beautiful! I think Jo is great. I think she's amazing. I'm really hopeful that I can maintain the techniques and the things that we've been working on while she's here. Look it! I have a butterfly face! 
having a routine and for me to be able to have activities with the children has been a really positive change for us. Leo, can you show me your butterfly? It feels so much less stressful. Just tantrums have gone down. Can you do the petals? She's not acting out, so that's a huge improvement with Jessie. I have noticed improvements with Andrew in particular. She's not shouting and she's not being aggressive with her sisters. Andrew has actually not even been back to the naughty stool. Oh, I love you too. I really didn't expect to see this much change in this short a period of time. Nicely done. Everybody's sitting so well. My favorite times now are breakfast and dinner when we all sit together and get to hang out together. Let me see your pretty mm. face. <laughs> Barbara's become empowered, and as a result, the children know their place. We are gonna stay seated at the table, and we are gonna eat dinner, okay? <laughs> We're absolutely gonna miss Jo. It's been amazing, it's been wonderful to have her here. She has been very supportive. I feel quite tearful. <laughs> Me too. You've been a real inspiration. I just hope that you keep that strength, all right? I appreciate that, thank you. Take care. When I said goodbye to Barbara, I felt an energy from her that was really overwhelming. It really touched me emotionally. Who gets kisses first? Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> darling. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye, darling. Okay, David, bye-bye. Take care. You walk out the house and you say goodbye to a woman that actually knows that she can do it. Bye. Bye. I left feeling that Barbara found something within herself that was priceless. I've done what I was meant to do here in this family and uh, I'm off to the next one now. Okay. Jo has helped me function with my kids and helped me feel stronger, and I think through feeling stronger, I do feel more like myself. The impact that Joe has had on my family is huge. It's changed everyday life into everyday living. <laughs> it's um, changed just trying to get through the day to, to enjoying a day. It has become more fun with the girls. I've been able to enjoy them more than really in a long time or ever. Oh, good job. I'm a good girl now. I love JoJo. I want to go backwards. You want to go backwards? I feel very hopeful for our future so that we're able to live happily ever after. I mean, I really would just say thank you.